It's lit. Yeah, it's going down. Let's see, this is the show where you can come get your smoke on and do your shit. Mm. You ain't gotta worry about nobody saying nothing. Do your shit. Well, you can come. I mean, I mean, we was at that basketball game and you always trying to blaze up. Yeah, nah, you, you <laughs> probably stop me from going to jail, so you know what I'm saying? Snoop I was really happy about that. I said, my nephew just don't give a fuck. He like, fuck, <laughs> we in the middle of a celebrity game. It's kids play. and everything. That nigga was like, what's happening? I couldn't play. I was about Hold to. Hold on, Snoop, to... wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most, Finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. And today, I got some real special guests in the house. Coming from the motherfucking A, it's the one and only Ray Schremer in the house. Hey, hey, hey we, from, we from Mississippi, though. Oh, from the MI? From motherfucking 60. Now, you know that's where my family from. Nah, I know that's dope. Shit, Macomb, Mississippi, Macomb and Magnolia, Mississippi, my whole family. Oh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I know that. So how long y'all been doing this shit, man? About like 11 years, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so it ain't, it ain't no overnight process. A lot of motherfuckers think y'all just pop, you know, popped and got on, and you know what I'm saying? They don't know it was a struggle, it was a grind to this shit. For real, yeah. failed many you times. You don't see that, though. Yeah, no, nobody gets to see, get to see the shine. That. You see the... Failed many times. Failed many times, but, but when y'all failed, it didn't stop y'all, though, right? Now yeah. it's like, okay, now I know I, it's like a lesson, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I know I, I need to do next, you know what I'm saying? Like, try this next, you know what I'm saying? Until you figure it out. For real. Y'all figured that shit out now. Y'all got your own sound, your own style. How did it feel when that first single popped? Sheesh. When everybody loved that first motherfucking single and y'all was like, nigga, we got one. Boy, that was a crazy feeling. It was cool. Slim. It was cool. The first one was cool, but it was like, you know, we got one. Then, you know, everybody started saying, you're going to be a one-hit wonder. So yeah. it's like, man, we got to come back with the second one. Then nah, we came we, with the second one. We wouldn't even sweat it because we had a whole project yeah, done. Yeah, we, we had you it done, but you know what I'm saying? saying? We don't know what it's going to do when it hit the, when it hit the, the crowd and stuff. You, you don't know, know what the atmosphere is going to give you when you put it out there. Right, but we I felt like know. it was good music. You know what I'm saying? But we know, we knew that was slapping. We know if we got to touch the stage, it's going down because you know what I'm saying? We ain't. So No Flex was the first big one. Yeah. And then I Ain't Got No Type. Yeah. Then like Come Get Her. Uh-huh. Or This Could Be Us. Yeah. And then uh, y'all had one with Nicki Minaj Thumps too. Thumps 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 Thumps. Yeah. That motherfucker was hard too. That's yeah, a jam. Come on, man. That's gonna be still yeah, going up. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers got hits. Like yeah. it's starting to become y'all DNA now. Hit records are start, starting to become connected to what y'all do. Yeah, like expected. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is. We expect it now. We expect great music. And then the Black yeah, Beatles, that. man. That come on, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. That shit right there is gigantic. Appreciate froze that. the world one time, man. For real, froze though, right? Froze the world, literally. Shit retarded. How did it feel to freeze the world? Let me freeze. Let me. You froze the motherfucking blunt, nigga. Man, she's strong, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to put that joint down. I see, bro, nigga. Like. You thought the blunt was in the mannequin challenge. Hold on, <laughs> nigga. Move. <laughs> no, nah, but that's some shit that y'all music created a fucking phenomenon beyond music. Mm -hmm. How that feel? That's dope. It's just like, dang, you see how many people just like tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Just like. Watching your stuff, I guess. Yeah, it's cool and to just touch. just like, how many crowds it touches, you know what I'm saying? It's like, old ladies yeah. doing it, dogs doing it, you know what I'm saying? Just... It's like, it don't have no limit to it. It's like, that's... Yeah, no, li no ceilings. Yeah, literally dogs was doing it. Dang, that's dope. <laughs> For real. That means that that struggle, that 11-year struggle paid off. Yeah. That behind-the-scenes struggle paid off. For real, dumb hard. Is there anybody y'all want to give a shout-out to that was really instrumental to keeping y'all together when y'all kept failing and kept coming back together again? I want to shout out to my mama, Bernadette Walker. Mm -hmm. I want to shout out to my daddy, uh, Floyd Sullivan. Um, I want to shout out Mike Will made it. Ear Pete drummers. Nasty, uh, Mars, Ear Drummers, the whole Ear Drummers. You know what I'm saying? A plus. You know what I'm saying? Ear Drummer Records, man, for real, because they seen us. We didn't have no like early buzz where everybody knew who we was. You know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. like they saw some potential in us, and then they said, "Man, let me get this a shot," and they shot us out there to, at the moon. You know what I'm saying? We touched the moon. That's really what happened. It was in the air, though. That's dope. <laughs> so how old was y'all when y'all first got into the successful category as far as when No Flex popped off? I was like 18. So y'all couldn't even get in the club. <laughs> Not for real. You niggas had the hottest records in the club and couldn't even get in the club. Nah, we, was, we was all up through that, though. <laughs> Man, we was getting out like, of clubs. You know I know that part. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all wasn't supposed to be in that motherfucker. But nigga, my, that's my music they play. Nigga, let me in. For real. I love that y'all perform. Y'all perform with great energy. Like, 
the era that I come from, mm -hmm. you had to have perform. You had to have performance in your repertoire to be able to hold the crowd and engage with them and to fuck with them. Y'all, y'all jump on the crowd and do all kind of shit. For real. What, what gave y'all that energy to do that? Is that something that y'all always had or is it just like, you know what, I just, whatever the crowd feel, I jump in and go whatever they, whatever they feeling. Yeah, it's just like how we always been like, I guess we had a high metabolism. We always just been like turned up, you know what I'm saying? Bringing energy and then all the songs we drop be like party music. Yeah. And we ain't just gonna be like up there just standing around like, we always said if we get that shot, like, if they cut these cameras on, they put us on stage. Like, it's going down. Like, I'm telling you, we make the most of it. Man. Right. They finna remember that it was two uh, young black kids on stage going crazy. That's what they gonna say, man. They was going crazy. <laughs> what they name was? Oh, Ray Shrimmer? Oh, they was going crazy. Y'all shit has been number one on the Hot 100 for seven weeks? God, y'all niggas doing some Elvis Presley shit. <laughs> yeah. That's you big, man. Yeah. That's, That's so it. crazy right there. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. See, when you make the records, see, people don't know, as artists, when we make the records, we don't know what the record's gonna do. Yeah. We don't ever go in and say, man, this record gonna sell 100 million records. That's right. just gonna be on the charts. Yeah, it just you. feel good. When it feel good and you invite people to the studio, they hear the music, they dance to it, you're like, you know, we're gonna put this shit out. Yeah. yeah. And Is that your vibe? Yeah, yeah, that's my vibe, too. We just make good quality music, you know what I'm saying? Just put it out, it do what it do, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all get y'all rap style from? Because y'all don't rap like everybody else, and y'all tone and y'all melodies is like, it come from a, a R&B place, if you ask me, it sound like it's some R&B gangster shit. Where did y'all get that from, <laughs> that, that melodic shit? Man, when they turn the beat on, I don't know, it's just, just vibe with it and just like, something just click, it's just yeah, like, cause I y'all niggas on it. be rocking, nigga. No For flex, <laughs> so, no flex. So, they know better. I call yeah. niggas be singing that shit. For real. That's just hard. vibe with it and just hear some money, you know what I'm saying, lay it down. And it be bouncing, you know what I'm saying? So now the second album is out. Mm -hmm. Shrimmer Life 2. Do y'all feel like y'all did y'all best work or y'all think y'all still can do better? I feel like, yeah, it's still like genres and just like songs we haven't made that we had the potential to make, you know what I'm saying? Because those songs are just like, some of many, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make a million more songs, you know what I'm saying? Each one gonna be different, you know what I'm saying? But they all got their wins, you know what I'm saying? Like our first, our first album had about five platinum jumps on it, I don't even know. Then, you know what I'm saying, like our new album. single on that motherfucker. Yeah, it was some singles on that joint. So then our new one, we just rolling it out, you know what I'm saying? Black Beatles win number one, so that's like a, a win in itself, you know what I'm saying? Each one just have a win, like its own win, you know what I'm saying? So Teamwork. next right. album gonna have its own number ones or whatever, whatever it do, you know what I'm saying? Not worry about what nobody else doing. Like, we never were like talking about what nobody else doing. We just in our own zone, in our own vibe. Like, whatever we doing that day, we doing it. And then we talking about it. Like, that's why all our stuff be like fun. And party shit. Yeah, vibe. And, and be free. Yeah, it be free. Ain't tripping with nobody, ain't mad at nobody. We right. trying to have a good time. Everybody can dance to y'all shit. Mm. Even, I seen people that didn't like each other because y'all music came on, ended up liking each other. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even trip. This music got us on the same page. We tripping off of bullshit. Yeah, so y'all really like healing people too because y'all be free. A lot of young rappers want to have beef and be negative, but y'all shit is party music, having a good time. That's that's the spirit I represent. Were y'all always raised like that? Well, um, like I think it, it just as a as a black person, like a young black man, period. You surrounded by all type you of group around all, all type stuff, of influences. Right? But like we we was always focused on, we always said we wanted to do this. Like we used to be in our living room, practicing, performing for whatever we was trying to do. Like we didn't even have nothing on the table, but we'd be like calling promoters and throwing a party at this spot, a local party that we know that all our friends going to. And we'll call the promoter like, hey man, can we perform at this party? And sometimes they'll say no, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll be like, give me $40 or give me $20. Sometimes they'll be like, yeah, but then, you know what I'm saying? That's how we started. Mm -hmm. So it was like, we was just really wanted to do it. So we went out and we attempted. And this is what came of it, you know what I'm saying? We, we went with like everything though, you know what I'm saying? We weren't playing no games. There was people out there rapping, everybody raps. But we really like felt like we could do it, so we tried. And mm. No matter what we were surrounded by, that's what we was doing, you know what I'm saying? Because we had our little struggles too. We just didn't choose to go about it in a negative way, you know what I'm saying? That's dope, I like that. Hello everybody, I am Stormy, and right now I am in some city that I don't know what the fuck it's called but it is hot here and then it's gonna rain soon. When it rains, guess what happens? Our nipples get a little hard. <laughs>
I love the weather. Why? Because it makes me feel some type of way. When it's cold outside, all I want to do is cuddle. I just want somebody to like lotion me and rub me down a little bit, you know, have a little fun. <laughs> uh, what city are we in right now? <laughs> so when y'all work with Mike Will, how do y'all come up with the music? Does he just present the music and then y'all rap to it or is it sometimes it's just on the spot? Yeah, Mike Will, he'd be like, he might play some beats that he cooked up or whatever in the studio in our session. And then whichever one we feeling, we'd be like, yo, load this up. Or if it's like six in the morning, we about to go to sleep or about to like take it in, you know what I'm saying? We'd be like, leave me with these, you know what I'm saying? Cook up on them on the road, on the tour bus, wherever we, wherever we got studios at. We keep the computer like that with the mic hooked up to it. Mike send us a beat, we just load it up. Oh, so y'all record yourselves? Yeah, always on the road. We like, we both get engineers, so we got like a little default, you know what I'm saying, settings or whatever, how we like it set up. We just be recording and vibing out to the tracks like that. Dope. Well, that's the best part of it, and that way you stay fresh every day, because it's always something. And y'all young and fly, so it's a spirit. Like, keep that spirit, like, because it's, that shit working, it's on right now. Is there anybody that you didn't expect to like your music that you know they like your music? Paul McCartney. That's what I was going to say, too. It's cold. Yeah. He big in the music industry. You know that, right? Lazy. Yeah, he a rock star. Rock yeah, star. <laughs> we inside the Smoker Studio. Everyday people, a.k.a. real nigga shit. So I'm going to ask y'all some questions, and y'all can answer to the best of your ability. What's the first thing y'all do or think of when y'all wake up? Flights. I gotta drink some water, cause last <laughs> night I was drinking and I'm dehydrated. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the rest of my day. So first thing <laughs> I'm thinking is, damn, I need some food and some water. That's what I'm thinking. Tacos or burgers? Uh, <sighs> taco me. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to run with the tacos. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ass or titties? <sighs> titties. That's all right. Cause I like the girls with the small, real asses. The little fine, little skinny girls, or they can be like kind of thick, you know what I'm saying? Petite, but that's that word, petite. It's whatever. For, yeah. Man, I, like, I don't like, they can be juicy too, but when it's real, you know the difference, like, knew that ass was real. Like, that's why I fuck with that bounce back, Jack. Cause, <laughs> cause, I said, knew that ass was real. Cause look, bro, hey, if you ever had to, if you know the difference, man, I yeah, love Yeah, cause it. if you had a fake one in your hands, it's a terrible feeling, ain't it, man? Man, you run into this table. Man. <laughs> And the cold thing, <laughs> the cold thing is, from a distance, from a distance, it looked crazy. It looked like ooh, and then you understand me, it get all the way up on you, and you still you understand me. And then when you put that thing in the palm of your hands, it's like damn, it's man, stiff. I, I don't know, it might not be worth it. What are your favorite pair of shoes of all time? I'm, I'm a new fan of the Gucci shoes. I could never have that type of stuff back Gucci? Man, I love it. These Gucci too. You got on Gucci oh, too? Oh, man. Gucci goes too. Damn, Gucci. Gucci, man. Gucci, Gucci, man. Gucci. Man, Gucci. The Gucci, Gucci gang, man. Gucci. I'm just Gucci. left out right now. <laughs> Gucci gang, I love man. Gucci gang, man. I Gucci's, man. Nobody told me we was rocking your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Put the YSLs on. <laughs> Come on, nephew. You didn't get the memo. Man, man. Gucci's like some real nigga shit. Put them up know. there. Put them boots up there. I like them boots. You oh, got them. Pop them up there one time. Let me see them boots. On the line. Come on, Indiana, Hello. Indiana Jones swag, man. Now. <laughs> What's y'all favorite thing to cook? Um, favorite rice. thing to cook. Rice? Man, nah, cornbread. Nigga, that's oh, the nigga, I fuck with cornbread. Man, Jiffy? I swear to God, that, that's the bed with the milk. Yeah, the nigga, Jiffy, oh, yeah. yeah. Cornbread. And a little bit of sugar, <laughs> nigga, yeah, and spinny with rum. Yeah, Put a little oil yeah. in there, too. Yeah, it's the easiest yeah, shit ever, man. nigga, please, I'm man. Good when come I come on, to man. I gotta go with the catfish. I'm about to bring y'all on Martha and Snoop, my little other TV show where we'll be cooking. And let you I do the catfish that. and you do the cornbread. Look. And I do the, you understand me, the in between. They gonna remember how to cook that cornbread. No, for real though. They it's, a, it's, a, it's a twist of cornbread. I love that. That's my mission, man. I love cornbread. <laughs> it's like cake. Will, will. They gotta do be you sweet. make them in the uh, cupcake things or do you just put the whole. The pan. I'll okay, put it in go the pan, pan <laughs> on it. <laughs> I we go glass pan dish. where it's square. Yeah. Or if I go cupcake edition. <laughs> where I put the little things up under them so it look like it's really a cupcake yeah, when you eat it. Flat. Hello. You look it all nice and tight. Flavor, yeah. man. Real yeah. tight. <laughs> How many times a day do y'all think about sex? <sighs> Many. It matters. Many. It matters who I'm the texting you too. and who I'm around. But what I'm doing that, like if I'm playing the PlayStation, I'm probably not thinking about sex. <laughs> but like shit, 
any other time of the day. With your girl with you, then. It can go down any yeah. other time of the day. In the yeah. daytime, in the morning, in the evening, right before lunch, right before breakfast, right before dinner, right before a show. <laughs> oh, so it don't have to be dark. It only, right before the, this show, it could have went down. How long? In the Uber. <laughs> Outside yeah. in the trailer, everything. Uber. Shrimp Nobody life. knows. Nah. This, the, this the shrimp life way. That's what she gonna get. <laughs> What's the worst job you've ever had? That factory. Yeah. We used to work at this like mattress factory, and it was just like long hours. Man, I used to work long with hours. Grinder, nigga. I used to have to. You know how? Okay, they got these tractors. They put them in bundles. You know what I'm saying? They put all the shit together. They put them in bundles. They wrap them up. Then they take them to the back and they bust the bundles and we got, and some niggas got to pull them apart. I used to be a hard ass worker, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to have my job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't, it wasn't no losing my job. I wasn't one. Bam, I had to work. So I used to work super hard. I used to yank that shit apart. A <laughs> little nigga. Don't want that shit, nigga. They about to hire me in, man. Right before this shit popped off. Look, I used to be working hard for my money. <laughs> yeah, you a hard worker. I like that. You serious about your job. If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? Friday. Hell yeah, that was I was gonna say. Man, that's everybody know that movie. Y'all would be Craig and uh <laughs> and Dede. For real. Who would be Craig and who would be Dede? I'd be Dede. He'd be Craig. Craig? No, I wouldn't be Craig. I wouldn't be Craig. You know, in this let, me think, let me think who Big I'd worm? be. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I don't Debo? know. Debo? Uh, I ain't Debo. I ain't none of them. I ain't getting knocked down now. Uh which one was fucking all the hoes? That's me. That's me. <laughs> Who that was me. That was Dede. <laughs> Dede had on that. That was me. That nigga said, that's me. The one that had all the holes, that's me. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, what would it be? I'd be able to duplicate anything. Like, say for instance, this water bottle, these shoes, a hundred dollar bill. Just be able to duplicate anything and it'd be like real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm just rich as fuck, for real. I nah. might just make a whole bunch of these gold just stack that shit up. <laughs> like, that shit going down, nigga. I'm on, I'm duplicating everything I want. He's the duplicator. <laughs> I'm duplicating, look. <laughs> we, look, I done got, I done bought one gram. <laughs> <laughs> Able to flip one gram into 45 grams. <laughs> I done took, y'all done gave me. Duplicator man, hell. <laughs> what? I ain't, I ain't going to save nobody. I'm laying on my bills, duplicator man. I only got $25, and I, my bills I is am 200 the bank. <laughs> I'm the bank. <laughs> <laughs> the IRS, IRS don't know what's going on. I, <laughs> IRS don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Shit. I just found out about that superpower, so I'm gonna have to go with that job. You know That's the way you want to go. You both superpower. you niggas are duplicating. <laughs> we get I'm rich. not gonna be able to make it, but I'll send my duplicating friend to come save the day. <laughs> we twins. Then we get together and we make the quadruplicator. <laughs> quadruplicator. Oh, it's going super down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We get rich up in this thing. Look, man. Shit. For real, my nigga. Now, how they getting all this money? We ain't doing nothing. Nigga said the quadruplicator. <laughs> <laughs> they get they get one T. For real. Okay, this shit right here is called finish the sentence. I'ma start it and one of y'all can finish it. I always wake up on the good side of the bed. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I'd wanna work with. Uh black youngster. <clears throat> if I could see anybody perform dead or alive, I'd wanna see. Tupac. I look for blank and a woman. I look for sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was easy. Hey, it is what it is. My favorite position is? On top. I like to be on bottom, too. Tell the ladies, hey, I like to be called first. You can call me. I like it when the woman's aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> we are blank, and we are? We are undefeated, uh -huh. and we are not stopping shrimp life. Say that. Ladies and gentlemen, did. boys and girls, I'd like to thank my <laughs> special guest, Shrimp Life, for sliding through up on us. And who y'all touring with? Shrimp we touring with Bobo Sway, baby. We touring with Impact, shrimp baby. Life. Shrimp Life crew. All of us from Mississippi, man, come out. It's going down. It's going to be a motherfucking affair every day. Shrimp Life. Skr, skr. Believe that.